everybody and welcome to hole number 6, a part 5 of Shiruba Springs in the Winter Major Tournament. Also of course on tour number 5, the World Links. The video here is sponsored by Golf Clash and Play Demic. And before we start, don't forget to be a subscriber here to the channel. Click that button and subscribe today. Also visit golfclashtommy.com for more Golf Clash related content. You can also get the text guys by being a subscriber to patreon.com slash golfclashtommy. Link in the description down below. So, let's take a look at hole number 6, and this is going to be a weird one, especially here from Front T. We want and need to play with a Titan Ball here, so we need to change to that first. And then after that, we are going to find ourselves playing with a Wood Club most of the time. So choose and pick the Big Dog here, as Big Dog is the club that gives us the most, the, the most topspin of the Wood Clubs that we're having. Because now the plan is to get as much distance as possible on the other fairway without obviously rolling into the rough. 10% over adjustment and we're playing from max distance numbers with our big dog. Weird that we're playing with a wood club as our driver there. Second shot is going to be extremely difficult and here we do need to have a club with a lot of curl to be able to get to the green or like to, to be able to be close to the green and that's going to be the big dog once again especially here for our ourself with the drive with the settings the setups that we're having so max left spin and i'm playing with three bars of top spin because my plan was to bounce into the rough and roll out you can use a little bit more top spin so you get a better roll through the rough and in the end, max curl left as much, much as you possible can because now we do want to take this turn here to bounce and then to get into the rough and roll. And have in mind once again that we would like to have more curl, sorry, more topspin if needed. Then we would get more distance and we would be having a much shorter wedge. Or you can try to go with overpower to bounce over the rough using no, sp no top spin whatsoever, which I think is going to be a little bit more difficult. Nonetheless, this part five is going to be extremely difficult as it's not only just require a good drive, it also requires a very technical and, and um, a perfectly executed second shot. No elevation for the second shot, and as I explained, 10% for the first shot with the big dog. So, in the end, the video here is sponsored by Golf Clash and Play Demic, and I say thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit thumbs up and good luck in your Golf Clash game.